Woohoo! Look what time it is! It's Reflow Master Fan Controller! Build time! So, I've got my new boards. I've actually had them here for a little while, but I realized that I was out of caps for them. I need uh, 50 volt caps, or at least 35 volt caps to go on here, and I didn't have any left. I used my last ones up when I was prototyping the first revision and forgot to order new ones, but they arrived today. So, let's build some, shall we? It's already open, because as I said, I was already going to go build one. That's the board, panelized, 2020-3, and here's my sensor, which is already set up, ready to go, because I was going to build them. Let's build them now. Excellent. So about the 3D printer in the background, I'm printing thousands of antenna clips. And it is slow going. Excellent. Perfect registration. Okay, that is the board. Double checking that everything's on the right way. Easier to fix now than it would be later. Everything's looking good. Just checking all the diode directions. There's quite a few diodes on here. Okay, and reflow should push everything into their correct positions. Let's put this in the oven and see how it goes. Here it is. It's a little bit warm. Just going to jump around a bit. I could probably touch it if I'm really quick and don't burn my fingers. Okay. Look at that. Looks pretty good. I mean, everything's reflowed beautifully. Really nice, shiny joints everywhere. The cooling down. Yeah, okay. I think that is cool. I think we can take it off. Nice. So, there are lots of thrill stuff to solder on now. I have screw terminals and barrel jacks to put on. Let's get cracking! I think what I might do before I solder all of these on is break off one of the boards and just solder one up and test it first because it is a new revision. I'd rather test one before I have to worry about fixing more. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we have a single board now. I'm not going to give it a clean yet. I'll clean it afterwards if I need to. So we need one of those, one of those, one of those, and one of these. But that's not warmed up, not even plugged in. So let's plug the iron in and let's get soldering. So this sits on this side. And bent pins. 
always fun because of the way they cram them into the bags. I believe these are all the same height from memory, so I might be able to put them all in at the same time. Or maybe not, we'll see. No. Okay, that's fine. To the screw terminals first. And I think I mentioned before I'm going to need a jig to keep them straight. But for now, I think we're okay. Should get some more light. Let's just make sure they're straight. No, not even close. Straight enough anyway, because it's going to be my one. But now it is. We should have green tacked it first, but I just got to do things the difficult way. Please, please be straight. They're pretty good. Okay. And lastly, the barrel jack. So people have a choice between powering it via the screw terminal here or powering it from the barrel jack. I am going to be powering from barrel jack, but I know that lots of people might be using a different type of power source where they want to screw it in. So you've got a choice of both. You can even technically use both at the same time because there are back feed protection shot keys there, but I don't really recommend it. These always a bit hard to solder. No. Turn the iron off. Uh, not the best solder joint just there. Missed the other half. No one called out and told me that I missed the other half. That's better. Okay. If anyone was screaming out in the video watching just then, sorry, I couldn't hear you. We should give this a whirl. Now, let me grab my other one, which is currently connected. Let me just zoom out. Okay, so this is currently connected to my Reflow Master Pro. I need to disconnect. Sorry, my hand is in the way. Very hard to record unscrewing things. Unless I do it sideways. Okay, this is the fan coming off. Okay, so. The only difference between these two boards, apart from the fact that one says 2020-2 and one says 2020-3, is that this board I added a resistor between the positive of the signal coming in, which I've now called signal rather than digital, and I've also stuck a little LED, a blue LED in there, so you can actually see when it's turning on and off. Other than that, it's the same, except I also fixed the silk on the back because the silk I flipped by accident. So it's now right. That's the only difference between the two boards. And this one worked great. Hopefully this one will still work. So let's wire it back up, shall we? Let's just undo these first. This is all still test stuff for my Reflow Master Pro. Do you get them right? Positive, negative? I did. And we need to put the load on. The load is negative, positive. That way the two grounds are next to each other, even though they're isolated. Okay, so we have a fan connected. I need to get a power supply. And here's a new power supply I just bought. 12 volt out, 1.5 amps, which is way more than I need. That's okay. And I hope that I've got the right size barrel jack. I did. That's good. And it's one of those removable ones, I think. You can plug different ends in. Anyway, you can plug this in. Okay, I'm not sure this is long enough. We'll see how we go. Okay, it's in. The fan is not spinning. That is good. Wow, what a mess at my desk. I'm going to plug the Reflow Master Pro in. And right now, the actual code on it is pretty broken. But that's okay. Turn it over if we can. I don't think it'll boot. Oh, maybe it will. And then maybe it'll crash. That's okay. I have broken code on there. But what I can do is play around with the PWM. So let's do that and let's see how it works. Let me get this over a bit. Get the fan in so we can see what happens. 
Obviously, there's no little light on right now. Oh, it booted again. Oh, look at that. We have a spinning fan. But we have no LED. Okay, it's a bit weird. Let's increase the duty cycle. So that is at one hertz at a full duty cycle. So it's working. It's just the one hertz is too slow. Let's make it 1k. But no LED. That's interesting. I'll have to debunk why there's no LED, but fan is going. Let's put that back down to a half G cycle. Put it back down to really slow. Oh, it's working, which is great. I don't know why the LED is not working. Let's see if we can debunk that, shall we? Pull that out. Let me just stop the stop it first. Okay. So that was all through PWM, by the way. As I said, the first one was at one hertz, and that was at one k. So let's turn off the hat. Unplug this because we don't need this right now. And let's zoom in and have a look at what is happening with that LED. I wonder if it's a busted LED. I've got my LED tweez, which are my little tweezers to test an LED, and it should be this way. No, it's not working. And that's not working. So that LED is not lining up at all. Let me get another LED. Let me get one from another board first. Okay, so, so that's ground here. Positive and negative. So positive comes in, goes through a resistor, and goes through to ground. I wonder if these LEDs are no good. Let me go find a good LED. Okay, so these are the blue ones I just used. And these are, the, are some red ones. Let me just take a red one out and make sure that my tweezers are working. Oh, there's always something, folks. Always something. Oh, that's, that's working. This red one is working, as you can see. So it's not my battery. Unless I just stick power this way. Yeah, no, these LEDs are not working. Oh, that's terrible. I did buy some new LEDs. Let me go grab a new one. Okay, so here's a new LED. This is turning into a much longer video than I planned. I cannot see which way the positive and negative is. Oh, there we go. Okay, that works. Okay, I'm just checking again. Yeah, that absolutely doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna have to swap all of these LEDs out. <laughs> oh, what are the chances of having an LED that doesn't work? Okay, well, I'm gonna call it there. This works. I've got some bung LEDs, but I've got a whole bag of new ones. I think I've got 600. Yep, 600 brand new blue LEDs, 0805s. I'll swap these out, and I'll chuck the last lot of these ones out. I think there's only a few left. It was a tiny end of a strip. I don't even remember when I bought these or where I bought these from. But there's only a few left anyway, so that's fine. No loss. I'll fix all these up, and um, what's next is to make a whole bunch more, and I need to put together a kind of fancy pinout card like I do for the rest of my products, and get this up on Tindy. And also, start finishing off my own oven, my new oven, with my Riffler Master Pro. I've been waiting on these to use them. So, yeah, lots of fun projects ahead. Okay, thank you for watching. If you're new here, uh, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. And click the alarm bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And to my patrons, thank you so much. You're all awesome. Until next time, catch you later. Bye.